Last time we looked at essentially the divergence of a vector field being defined through the del operator. So essentially the del operator is a symbolic operator with partial derivatives, or I guess partial um, uh, differential operators as components. Okay, and essentially we can connect this with a vector, vector field through this scalar or dot product. Now, remember from basic vectors, we can multiply vectors in two ways. We can take the dot product, the scalar product, or we can take the cross product. So this curl then is like a, a cross product analog involving this um, del operator. Okay, so Remember that a cross product can be kind of computed through a special determinant. Now, the del operator, it's not really um, a vector, it's called a symbolic vector, but you know, we can sort of write it as a vector here. And say, let's say um, F has components. Um, F1, F2, and F3, where F1, F2, and F3 are all functions of, say, three variables. So, you know, I, sometimes when I write these vector fields or vectors in general, I use this triple order, triple notation. Some people use the IJK. I, I, I use both actually. Okay, so to write out and compute the curl of a vector field. Essentially, I can write it out using the del operator and this cross product. And essentially, what I do is this is you can think of this as um, a special determinant that I'm going to expand along the top row. So essentially, it's just a game of cover up. And I start with the i. I see the i is in the first column and the top row. So I cover up that row and column and I multiply i by the determinant of what's left. Okay, so if I cover up there and there, the, I just write down the determinant of what's left. Okay, so I've, I've done that one. Now let's move on to the j. Well, j is in the middle column and the top row, so I cover up and I multiply j by the determinant of what's left. Now, the only tricky thing here to remember is I need to change the sign. So it goes positive, negative. The next one will be positive. So we're going to have something like this. And lastly, let's get to the k. k is in this column and this row. So let's cover those and multiply k by the determinant of what's left. Okay, so just to refresh your memory, determinants of uh, two by two determinants, you work in a diagonal manner. So usually when we um, expanded determinant, it's that times that minus that times that. But remember, these are differential operators. So this is going to act on f sub 3. This is going to act on the function f sub 2. Okay, so that operating with that is going to give me df3 dy. That's minus that operating with that. Okay, minus that operating on that minus that operating on that. And lastly, this one here, that operating on that minus that operating on that. Okay. So you can see here, this is actually quite a mess. So my suggestion is to actually just, you know, 
learn how to expand these determinants because this is way too much information to remember.